Hi everyone, my name is Hilda Chavez. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, first of all, before I get going, I wanted to thank EVY Creations for my makeup today. She sent me a whole bunch of great gifts. I have brushes, makeup, you name it. Uh, she was awesome. She gave me a whole bunch of things that right now it'll be too much to handle and have up here for you guys, but I will definitely make sure that you guys get her name on my Instagram page so you guys can order your own makeup and your own brushes and everything that she sent me again is awesome. I really love how the makeup came out. I have kind of like a jello-ish um, makeup that I have to use and she's amazing how she was able to, just by looking at my pictures, to be able to touch the exact makeup that I use. And I really like it, I love it. It's very creamy and it feels very comfortable. It's really good. And the brushes blend in perfectly fine. So you guys will love it. Thanks again, it'll be EVY Creations. Thank you so much. All right, well, here we go. Today I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make atole de nuez. It's gonna be very basic with all the ingredients that everybody has at home. So here we go. We're gonna have a total of six cups of milk that we're gonna boil, and along we're gonna set aside two cups. So eight cups of milk, but two of them are going to be to dissolve the nuts, okay? So here we go. We're going to need one can of evaporated milk. We're gonna use only half of the condensed milk. You guys are welcome to use the whole can. It just depends on how sweet everybody likes it. I'm only gonna be using half of that. I also have vanilla extract here, just a little bit of a spoonful of that, and then half of a stick of cinnamon. I'm gonna use the artificial flavor of noes, which is nuts, and you guys are welcome to Replace it with vanilla extract or whatsoever. So for me, I really like to use this because it gives it a different flavor. We're gonna use cornstarch for this type of recipe, so make sure you guys have it at home. It comes in handy. I already have half of a cup here because that's all we're gonna use. And we have here one cup of nuts, which I'm using one and a half of these, all right? I also have a little pinch of salt in here because everything that we're including in there has to bring up that little sweet taste and that is going to be with the pinch of salt all right so let's get to business let's bring all of this up on here to my stove we're going to go ahead and preheat this it has to be at a very low low flame <laughs> all right we're going to go ahead and bring our milk to a preheat remember to have it at a very very low heat so here we go That's awesome. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our evaporated milk. Okay. And we're gonna use half of the condensed milk only. Oh, I thought I had opened it. There we go. Perfect. All right. And here we go, that is going to be our little stick of cinnamon. This is going to be our vanilla extract. And this is going to be the artificial flavor. And this is going to be the pecan flavor. And I'm only going to use a full spoon of that. Here we go. This is going to bring a lot of flavor. Again, you don't have to, you can only use the vanilla extract if you like. All right. This is gonna be our little pinch of salt. Very good. We're gonna go ahead and in our blender, we're gonna mix the rest of the stuff, but first we're gonna mix in those two cups of milk that I told you guys earlier that we were gonna separate. I'm going to go ahead and put in there the cornstarch. Very good. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and mix it really good. Make sure that there's no crumbs in there. So now that you have that in there, you can either put the nuts in there or in here. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put that one cup in there and my other half. Minor pieces of pecan. Again, you can use whatever brand you guys want to. So there's my one and a half cup. And then here is our mixture 
and we're going to go ahead and blend all of that together. Remember to have your stove at a very low heat. That is going to be very important because you're not going to stop at any time for the next eight minutes or 10 minutes mixing it. It's very important that you do not move yourself from the stove because it will bring up to a rise and it's gonna make a mess and a disaster in your stove. Just keep mixing it again. Do not leave the stove. We're gonna be here for at least eight minutes or so and then we're gonna check on it and make sure that we have that consistency that we're looking for. So I did forget to mention that once the milk becomes into a boiling point, you wanna go ahead and add the two cups that we went ahead and put in our blender with the pecan and also with the cornstarch. So once it becomes to a boil, then that's when you wanna go ahead and mix them all together so that you guys can actually get this consistency of the atole, all right? It is thick, but I do not like it too thick. I just like it creamy, but I do not like it too thick. If you do like it very, very thick, then you wanna go ahead and add a little bit more than that half of a cup of the cornstarch because that is what's going to make this from scratch your way and how you wanted it. So this is the consistency that I like. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy this. It's very creamy, you guys. And it's really, really flavored. And I did went ahead and I did put a little bit more of the pecans in there and also the cinnamon stick to give it some more flavor. Again, it's really up to you guys on the consistency on how you guys like it. I only used half of that cup of the cornstarch, but you guys are welcome to use a little bit more of that, just in case that you do like it a little bit more thicker. Guys, here we go. Let's try some and let's see how this little atolito taste is. It's really creamy. It's really sweet. It's really good. I hope you guys make it at home. It is a little chill here, so hopefully in other states, it's a little bit more cooler, so you guys can really enjoy this type of atolitos. Yo lo voy a acompañar con unas galletitas de canela. Ustedes lo pueden acompañar con lo que ustedes gusten en su hogar. Aquí en Arizona todavía estamos en los 60, así que no está muy fresco que digamos, pero sí se antoja un atolito en las mañanas muy temprano. Muchísimas gracias por haberme acompañado el día de hoy. Thank you everyone for your support. Thank you everyone for being there for me. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for all of the get well messages I've received on Instagram. As you guys have noticed, I haven't uploaded a video and I have not been uh, feeling good. So I am now uh, boost up. I did take my medication. I am currently on medication. I do have my iron levels quite low. So I do have to take care of that. Um, so thank you everyone who was sending me messages and who was asking for my health. I really appreciate that. Thanks again. Thank you for being here with me. I really appreciate each and one of you guys. Thank you for all the gifts that I receive here and there. I really are greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Love you guys a lot. Bye-bye.